is my thing streaming? Yep. Okay. Ooh. My sound is muted. And we're red side again, so that means we win. Yeah. Because, spoiler alert, <laughs> it seems like every time you guys play blue side, we end up losing somehow. Uh, anyway... It was the side diff. Yeah. We'll start unpausing and moving through, and again, we just look at our team, their team. Look at my cool skin. My skin was better, but okay. <laughs> Your skin's a mage skin. Mages are stupid. So, our comp is kind of uh, a team fight comp. And we can kind of split with our solo laners if they're strong as well. And maybe get picks, but not really. Their team, they really just look to get picks with either their Sichuani uh, or a Yumi ult. And then they have the high damage with Jin and Echo. So that's something we should be watching out for. And now this game, we do an amazing job at watching for uh, invades. Look at this, we're all in the right spots. I love it, guys. You did it right. <laughs> And, like, we're probably not going to get invaded because they just have Szechuani, but even still, like, these are just good positions because we can make sure we're not getting <laughs> snuck in and losing a buff. And so when we're playing Hecarim, uh... He's kind of like a farm-heavy jungler, so we kind of want to think of our pathing a little bit as we start the game. So, like, we could be starting on either of these buffs, and what would our plan be in either case, probably? To gank a respective lane? Um, maybe. I, I kind of think mainly we should be looking to farm initially with Hecarim. Okay. So, in my thought process, it should be, like, mostly a full clear. And starting red, this is fine. Like, you probably just hit all your camps going down, and then look to bot lane. Which I'm pretty sure is what you do. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not the most well-versed in Hecarim. And by well versed, I mean barely versed. But we want to focus on farming. Uh, we should probably have priority mid. Top lane's fine, and we have the spot lane. And I think we should have priority here as well. Because Caitlyn's super strong, and Sona also does a lot in lane. Uh, mainly, and th this isn't a whole lot on you, Mo. But I remember you guys asking, uh, like, why did they hit level 2 first here? If you remember? Yeah, because we were hitting it so fast at first. Yeah, so this is just, like, kind of not the best wave management. So, like, a big thing we should be looking to do in the first initial waves is probably slow pushing. Because when we just shove this straight into tower, uh, like, the wave just resets. So now we have to fight these minions a lot harder. And then mainly it's just like not hitting the minions to get to level 2, so we end up kind of just throwing the lane. And I'll talk probably to Razor about setting up a slow push and a cheater recall. Do you know how to do a cheater recall, Mo? Ooh, okay, LS. All right. <laughs> yes. Because this was this was actually like a great lane to probably set up a cheater recall. Are you are you familiar with it, Mo? Or yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So that's just like slow push the first two waves and then crash the no. It's yeah, yeah. first two waves and then you then hard you push the third wave. Yeah, you crash the third. 
and that's enough gold to go back and buy a call, and I don't know if supports can buy anything, but... I could probably get some more mana at least, so I could spam more. I mean, it'd be nice. But if we get a sneaky gank off bot... When that trade to be is, is a flash used for them. And this is fine, because even with that gank, we're still farming as Hecarim, which I like. Um, we trade top, which is fine. As long as we're going even, we're doing fine, I think. And I think this is still good, because we know we just burnt Jin Flash, but I think this that is... That wave was thick. Yeah, it's still like a thick wave, but you can you can solo these guys. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I think the problem um, is you probably should just be eating them straight away. Yeah, I'm not sure if I had EO and cooldown or not. I don't you, know. You didn't, okay. Yeah, because that's what I would have done. Uh, um, okay. So I eat them into the wall instead. Yeah, that's fine. I'm still kind of trying to learn how to use my E properly. <laughs> so that's that's one thing I was trying to focus on in this game was using my E to the best of its ability in some situations. Well, we're fine. We're doing okay in our lanes. We're farming in the jungle. get a nice chase down. So like right here, this is where I'm feeling confident with Hecarim. It's just I don't know what else I could, like, because I definitely start falling off. And it might be because I'm not farming enough. Let me just check in on bot lane, and that's a fine trade. Now, this is one of the, uh, trading things we should be looking at. So I think you get a little bit surprised by the damage here, Mo. Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I was not expecting him to do that. I thought I would like, I can just nuss it back and farm up. Because that's what I usually do, but he really caught me off guard. But it's, it's like... We should just be respectful, because Echo's an assassin, we don't have flash or a pool here. So if he goes on us, we're just kind of hoping tower takes care of him, right? Oh, uh, yes. But he just has a lot of damage, and we get punished. Like, we probably should just be... Uh... Okay, <laughs> we, we should just be respecting that we're half health and don't have pool, so... Well, this Echo should right. be respecting me coming down here and fucking throwing my penis on the table. And you almost let him get away, actually. No, I didn't. No, it was perfect. It was Never, perfectly planned. It was BM right there. Not even close, baby. Really? <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure he takes a second to stand still and dab, and then... See, look at that right there. <laughs> he could have just kept walking. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. So this is just like the same thing that we saw bot lane from last game. Is we're just kind of trying to force a gank. One yeah, oh uh, yeah. Super low and pushed up. And if you're I think Razor needs to be a bit more vocal with that, because I think she says it sometimes, but like she doesn't like firmly say it, you know? Uh, yeah. And there's a few things. We, we probably don't need to be as low as we are in lane. Let me just go back and like see if there's any... I don't know. We, we've just been trading, and it's been a little rough. And Yumi's kind of... Stupid. Do some topped off. But, like, I think ganking now is probably still okay, but when we see them running away, like, we're just kind of wasting our time. Except I, they stick around a little bit long. Oh, we hit a minion. 
That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awkward. These hackers Jungle are death. looking pretty bad. <laughs> Dive well, you know, you gotta get some more practice in. Good thing Echo stopped the dab, am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, he was hitting that dab real hard. <laughs> this... Uh, this is just super illegal. I got I had to get that control ward. Like our bot lane is, they're shoving in, but we still like can't really fight in this bot. No, yeah, definitely. And we knew Sejuani was here because she showed up earlier. So I think clearing this ward, like super illegal to try and do, and it's also time we're not farming our jungle. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because we just trade all of our HP, and we're not hitting camps. Yeah. And actually, I want to go back. Go let's get Dover a note. So, should we even be looking to gank bot lane right now? No, to be honest, in my brain, I think part of me wanted to go to my camps. Yeah. But I also... The the the, the 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 silver jungler in me is like, oh, they're pushed to tower, must kill. Yeah, so that that's like the big thing is. So it kind of sucks that we have to let bot lane just be stuck at tower, but we're just letting our top side reset. Mhm. Mm spend some time not farming. But we go back and we, we clear the top side. Um, nothing major happens. We're keeping up in CS. I'm honestly surprised you win this top lane, Eris, because I thought Volibear yeah. would be pretty strong with his extended trades with W. I think he is. I just, I don't know, man. I think I, I, I probably think that... just wasn't. I think that Super early game let you stat check him though, like because we got the yeah. early gank off, you just went stat true. checks. I think it's a really bad Volibear ult to be honest. Yeah, but then, uh, I'm not really sure why we do this. I'm scared and I needed help to get away from the Echo. Well, y yeah, but I'm not sure if we should even be trying to fight this Volibear here. Because we can probably just run towards our Mundo and then get away. Luckily, uh, Echo over. Experience. Luckily, see, I don't dab. I don't BM when I'm about to get killed. I run. Like doing that, kinda we make Eris flash when we can mm -hmm. just like be alting into our jungle or away. Yeah. And it's just, like, we're being chased, so we probably shouldn't be fighting, especially when we're low. Benefit, though, I did waste a lot of that Echo's time. Yeah. Like, that's fine. If he wants to chase you that far, if, as long as we live, Vlad gets a wave. But again, like, all of that time that we spent doing that, like, we got raptors and a red buff still up for, like, another minute and a half. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're doing fine. Bot lane stabilized. We're still losing out a little, but, you know, we're stable. And then some weird things happen soon. Uh, this Harold, uh, we're giving up kind of a top wave for it. Yeah, I think we, we end up leaving to go. And I think it was smart to try and turn on this Walla Bear, because otherwise we're just losing a lot of CS. I think yeah, see, I don't how that interaction worked right there. 
So you probably shouldn't even be ulting there, actually. Because, like, we just run into him here, right? And then yeah. If, and then if he ult ults backwards, we ult onto him. But, you know, it, it works out fine because he pushed up way too far. And we saw Sashwani moving down here. I have... Some... Then she comes up, yeah. She comes up here, which is a great ward to spot her out right there, to be honest. So, like, this is fine. We're just trying to protect this. Um, yeah. The big thing is, uh... We're just playing a bit too far up when we're trying to defend our jungle. So she just super punishes herself. And that's just kind of being respectful of priority, because when we have a jungler down here, we kind of want to respond to that. Can't be up there. But, you know, we get what we want out of being here, which is just stopping the Sishwani and then actually getting a kill on her. Yeah. And that's all well and good. And mainly we just need to be more respectful when we're trying to respond to stuff with that on the map. And I don't know... No, no, it's fine. Like, we, we, she just shouldn't have been there. And the game stays pretty stable. We keep looking. And like, we probably should just still be farming on Hecarim, mm -hmm. even with people pushed up like that. And then just looking to try and show up where we think Sejuani's on the map. But game stays pretty quiet for a while. And we, uh, there are, I was trying so hard to dab, but uh, Vladimir does not have any good poses for that. Mm -hmm. I think this is just like a fine gank. Like, we're just looking for stuff like this. Especially after Echo wastes a W like that, he's just kind of setting himself up to die. And that's something, and we go back to talking about, like, trading and whatnot. Like, this is almost a perfect gank against Echo, because he just used one of his defense tools, and he was pretty low on mana. You know, bot lane's fine. Like, I don't know how either of the- oh. Eris just TPs and yeah. Cause we're a little scared, but I don't think either lane can really kill each other super hard unless there's a major outplay. I like the TP. It burn. It burns a flash, which is really good when you only have one laner with flash. Uh, yeah, that right is, there. That was... This is just, like, super illegal. Like, we don't have priority bot, so we probably shouldn't even be here. Luckily, Eris is here, so we're probably still fine. As long as we don't walk oh. into their bot lane. So yeah, I... yeah, my, my, my walking way there just, I, I don't know. I kind of, like, blanked in my brain, I guess, in a way. Oh! And that's just, like... Kind of like we, we just can't be walking into stuff like that because it's yeah. super illegal. But they overextend, so we pick up some nice stuff from it. Because, like, probably only Hecarim dies there for nothing, but then they chase and get two kills, and we get two kills at the price of a top plate, which is okay.
But this game is just overall pretty slow, because it's hard for them to do a whole lot with our solo laners being in the lead. And we kind of just mess up our heck alt there. Yeah. Rough. This just isn't being respectful of a storm razor. Because that's super big. And this. What do we think of this fight? Not great, to be honest. And I, I definitely wanted to back out there, but then we got the stun. So, like, th this just isn't very good, because this Jin's super strong. Mm-hmm. Because he's sitting on an item and a half, and we don't even have Vekarim's Triforce yet. Yeah. So, overall, it's pretty illegal. Uh, we just need to respect that Hecarim's sitting on... Or, sitting on his item. Yep. Oh, Jin has his items right now. <sighs> you go through. I think this is a fine collapse. Just a really strong rotation with the strength of our mid lane. <clears throat> I think the only thing here is we should probably be responding to this mid tower a little bit faster because they just have Sejuani and Yumi here and that's not super dangerous for us but you know she just kind of throws we just took a lot of tower damage in mid and lost a wave So we're sitting in the mid lane or mid game, and we got our solo laner strong. So we just need to break these outers, <coughs> and Aeris strong enough just to take Herald on our own. Well, we just look to siege. We could potentially rotate Caitlyn to mid at this point, but I think laning's still kind of okay. just strong enough to dive there because Yumi's not even here that gym must have been tilted at the cat <laughs> yeah just like where, where where's my heal and move speed <laughs> and at this point we've just kind of bro broken the entire map up with set up. And I, I like this up on, we're, we're just like, let's just put our solo laners in one place and, you know, make them respond to something. Because you're both super strong here. And I can't remember if it's one or two kills here. No I think it was oh three. God, it's three. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize the. Ah, oh, no. It looks like oh, no, it's just two. Like, I, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's just two kills here. 
So then, what's really good is we get those kills, and then we're calling to go to Baron right now. Which I think is a really good play, because they just lost their top in jungle, so like, this is free. But the bad thing is, we don't recognize that Hecarim can't take Baron worth shit. Yep. Lesson learned. So, what ends up happening is we're resetting top when we could be walking to Baron. And just killing this. They just TP back in, I think, though. Yeah. But, like, we could have just walked to Baron here. And we wouldn't have to burn two TPs. Yeah, I, I, I realized that it was a really bad play on me. Because I was sitting on, like, 750 gold or something. If I had just walked in and taken the Baron... I would have completed my death cap instead of sitting on two needlessly large rod. Yeah, so like, I, I don't think the gold even matters that much at this point, because like, if we're five man, we can go take this Baron. That's also true. Because Sona and team just like, it's just easy to take Baron. Other than that, like it, it's a it's a it's a great call to do this Baron. I just don't think we need to burn our two TPs here if we just walk straight to it, because there's no way they're gonna contest us. And like I think Aeris, you were like half HP and you take barely any damage. Yeah. And. Mainly I bring that up because that bleeds over into what happens during our Baron stuff. Because now, if we send, if we set up a split push, like, our solo leaners can't respond if something happens mid, because we don't have TPs anymore. Which doesn't ruin Baron, but it makes it a bit less valuable. Just because if they collapse on our mid, Making it pretty poorly. So now we have our Baron, we just want to set up split pushes and slowly siege out the towers. Which we mainly do. I don't think it's too bad to be walking Vlad mid here. Because you create a lot of pressure by yourself. And then if you have a team behind you, it's just like, we're going to take a tower <laughs> together. Yeah, like, I pushed that top lane whole wave in, then I thought that maybe if I just stayed that far up, it's not good for me, so I walked back mid. They didn't even buy Grievous Wounds except for Bramble Vest, though, against, like, a Mundo and a Sona and a Vlad. That's kind of, like, really bad. Yeah, it's pretty pretty troll. So, like, this is where some weird things happen, because we have Baron, and we're kind of looking to push, and we're also just taking Dragon, which I don't think's bad. Dragon's kind of like a, a safety to the game. If we have more Dragons, we can get Soul and probably win. But I think it's really not great to send both of our solo laners. And then also be trying to like sit here and siege mid, because mm. we don't we don't need Mundo and Vladimir down here to push this wave. We just need one. And the reason I bring that up is because uh, I think Sejuani just alts here. No Echo W, big stun, and they force this fight. And it doesn't go the worst it could be. Mainly because Mundo's super fed, so they can't deal any damage to you. But if we just have Moon, if you if you're just standing here shadowing our mid lane on Mundo, like they can't even finish this fight. Because if you're here, we see the Echo walking in, and then you're already probably walking. And you're like here in the team fight. And they can't kill you. And then 
Also, if we had our TPs, Vladimir could be here. And then they just wouldn't even stand a chance. And, you know, we, we get out fine. We trade Razor for Volibear. Oh my gosh, that was such a... Thank you, uh, Darius. That was kind of clutch. You saved me. Well, it just kind of sucks because Caitlyn's are like, big siege. We're trying to take towers. And some of that, like, we should be a bit more patient in the mid lane while we're setting stuff up. Because if we go back... Like, we probably shouldn't be up this far until we're waiting on pressure. Because we shouldn't be trying to hit a tower unless we have pressure on the map. Like, someone needs to be close to hitting this tower, hitting this tower, and we see other champions showing up there. Because otherwise, like, we can just treat it like there's five people just sitting in the fog of war. And of course we see three here, but it's like... Uh, Yumi and Jinj can just be sitting anywhere here and show up. Like, cause we're fighting all of this, and we kind of waste our push. And if we had TP, we could have just shoved that wave and been there. And probably went much harder. But if we just take it slow and we let Baron Cannon like hit towers, like we're not in that position. But now we're not there. And <laughs> that was so unfortunate. This is just. Yeah, maybe I should have seen it faster, I, I guess, mean, that, but that, it was hard to react. Yeah, like that. And that flashed down, too. Wait, do they even have vision there? Oh, no, it's red. Fog of War. No, Wait, oh, did they? I don't think they did. Like, they, they, they didn't. They had, like, they moved so f They had to. That, there's... But yeah, can we see the Fog of War? I just wanted to do see it their, myself. Can, yeah, can we see the... Oh, they did. They oh, okay. I was about to say, that'd be <laughs> super impressive. So I guess I should have sweeper that. I mean, maybe we should be backing in a safer spot. This is just like... They they move really fast through here. I think if this And Yumi got the kill. <laughs> I think if this ward's a little bit better placed, maybe we see it faster. But that, maybe... Yeah, if I put it on the edge, but... We should maybe be thinking if there's wards in their jungle, but they, they, they kind of just cleanly come in. And... Who would ward in their own jungle? Iron players. Which is a little unfortunate, but like, what do they do with that zone of kill? Yumi can get like, I don't know. It's like, they, they don't really get that much out of killing Sona there. They just burn a Sejuani ult. You mean that cat for the carry? <laughs> so now, it's like, we're in the same place where it's just like, it's hard for us to break open base. We seem to run into this a lot. So, like, we're stuck trying to siege, and we get caught because of some bad pathing, and we lose a fight. And I think mainly we lose here because we're trying to overforce. And I get, like, you're a strong tank Mundo, so, like, we think we can just go where we please. Um, but I think here, like, probably best if we just start taking tower. Because this tower is probably dead if, like, we just back off and Vlad, Caitlyn hit it instead of trying to still take a fight. And base remains up, which sucks.
until we reset, and we just want to set up for Baron, get wards down. Which we do just fine. And we set up Vlad to split push with TP and show up to Baron when they try to fight us. Um, this is kind of where things go a bit wrong. Because this Echo gets a nice sneaky W down, and it catches three of us. And Mo doesn't even get time to ult. Which we should be looking maybe to TP here with Vlad. But this goes by so fast that we're kind of just like losing the fight. So at this point, probably best if Vlad keeps split pushing. And they don't respect Vlad at all, so we just kind of win the game. Oh. Yeah. So, I don't even know if it's worth trying to, like, contest here. Yeah. But I think it is a good idea to try and stop them from packing. We're slowing them down, and Vlad's just winning us the game. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Yeah, they they, they sent one person to deal with our 8-1 Vlad. Like, they're crazy. <laughs> it's because they were too scared about losing that, losing that Baron to me. <laughs> and then... The I TP think, was failed. I think, I, I think it was fine to yeah, get the TP. Oh, our strong soul mages, mages. Well, the only thing is, uh, so like we call this TP for Mundo. That means we're we're trying to end the game, right? Like that, that's what we're trying to do. Except, uh, I don't I don't think this is ending the game, guys. I didn't, think they'd I didn't think they'd live that long. Yeah, if that I can understand that. Uh, Cause like, it's a little wonky just to TP into base when they have Baron and they live. But even still, we probably should just be running here and then like, if they die, like we just turn and take Dragon. Yeah, but then there's a the question, can we take, I guess Sejuani's dead, so I guess we could still get it. I mean, you, you probably do have time, because if they're fighting here, they don't have uh, the ghost from uh, from backing in base. Right? So it's going to take them a pretty long time to get to this dragon. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And Sejuani is dead too, so... Because potentially, like, these, these are two tanky champions with a lot of drain healing, and of course they can 2v4 for some reason. You know, they can just kill the entire enemy team for some reason. But even if, like, they weren't that strong, like, they're probably surviving and running back into the enemy jungle. Because, like, if we go back a couple seconds, like, let's say they're losing. Like, we're just running away this direction, right? And that's... they probably have enough time for you guys to show up. But uh, after that, we just win the game. Okay. GR. <clears throat> so, at that game, we're just kind of not respecting people in the Foggy Vision sometimes. And then we're also not using Baird, oh, excuse me, to our full extent. And I think some of that is just patience and waiting for pressure. Because if we had, like, a Vlad or a Mundo in a side lane with Baron buff, just hitting a tower, they gotta send, like, two people to try and stop that. And then we're yeah. probably sieging mid with Caitlyn, right? 
And some of that is just playing a bit more safe uh, with like the, the Caitlyn Sona combo in the mid lane. And then part of that is also just saying, hey, wait a minute, we're not set up in the side lanes yet. Okay. But uh, those were two clean games. Um, we can look at the... Th There's really not a whole lot to talk about in the third. Game. Yeah, please, no. Please, please. <laughs> Let's not look at that. <laughs> Ah, man, but I think, well, I, I think there's good stuff to learn from that early game, though, because we fell behind really hard early. Yeah. And we mm -hmm. also, we made some...